Job chat, live chat. There we go. And we're live. Oh, of course, it's the. Hold on, it's the car place. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are we doing? I thought we would draw Robin Williams today. So let me see if I can get everything set up. Um, Donna just had to step up. <laughs> Somebody, the car place just called. We had to turn her, bring her car in. The car place just called just as she hit live. So if you're tech, if you're leaving a comment, I can't see it because I'm on the other side of the room. And Donna ran out, but uh, we love you. And Donna will be back in a few seconds. But uh, I'm not going to do a music Monday today. I just wasn't in the mood, so I'm going to draw one of my comfort people, uh, which is Robin Williams. So let me. Um, pull up a picture. And just kind of. Oh, let me. Uh, I had to hit record. Sorry about that. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, well, no, no, everything's fine. But it, it will be fine. It's, it's, it's gonna be what's gonna be. Um. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, artist Nirantar sent you a very generous tip. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Nixie is here. Hi, Nixia. Oh, let's see. We have um, Do Stuff Girl is here. I Do Stuff Girl. Um, Gail's here. Hi, Gail. Um... Hi all. If I miss your comments, sorry. Um, um, let's see. Wow. Hello from 90 degree weather. That's Polyjuice Potion. Um, How's uh, everybody today? Doesn't look like Robin Williams. It looks like a piece of paper. You're funny. Uh. <laughs> Steph Nerd says morning. Good morning. Doris says, why don't you make more shorts? Um, more than the one a day that I've been doing? Or, I mean, I, I can only make so many. Yeah, they take a lot, a long time to make. Um, um, let's see. Linux I says, good morning. Comfort people describes him exactly. Um, I love Robin Williams. He was my dad's favorite actor. Warm hugs from Finland. Thank Yasmin, you. he says, good morning. Um, good, um, good afternoon from England. Hope you're both doing well today. I'm sorry about Arwen. Thank, oh, you, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, our day is going okay. Thank you, Autumn Rain. Um, JC Nightingale says, I have a question. Can more experienced artists use beginner supplies for a budget or would they need better quality? Um, better, better quality art supplies definitely make a difference. It, you know, it's just, they're, they're better quality for a reason. Um, you don't need them. Uh, I, I think I've done enough uh, tests with cheap, really cheap uh, art supplies, including like Crayola, um, to kind of show that you, you, you don't need them. But uh, it does help. Like better paper makes such a difference. Uh, better paints make a difference. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's not necessary, but it's... It's, it's kind of like... Um, I, it's kind of like anything like if you're racing or if you're you know uh whatever if you have a faster car it's gonna it's gonna help but you know it, it, they always say it, the it the driver makes the difference and it does but if you give a good driver 
a better car to drive, he's going to go faster um, and he's going to win more races. So just it does help, but it's not 100 percent necessary. You, If you have to look out for your budget, look out for your budget. Um, good morning from Canada. Good morning. First time here. That's trade offer. Oh, good morning. Welcome. Um, hello. You are true inspiration to all artists. Who is your favorite? I also love Robin Williams. Um, my favorite actor is, is Robin Williams, or I guess was Robin Williams. And, um, if you're asking who my favorite artist was, I have too many. Um, he does. It would, he has it a would lot. probably be, you know, J.C. Leyendecker, Drew Struzan, um, Sir Lawrence Almatadima, John Buscema. Uh, Mr. Cubing sent you a, a large tip. Thank you. Thank you all. You you don't need to send tips. Yeah, we just not, love having you here, not people. Necessary. Yeah. Thank you. Um, a Blick is in the chat. Hey, Blick. Good morning, Blick. Hi from Bangladesh. Hello from Scotland and France. Hello. Um, thanks, JXX Sketches. We appreciate that. Hello from Australia. Hello, um, hello. You guys are amazing. Tracy's here. Um, Erica's here. Thanks, Erica. We will take those big hugs today. Anne Marie is here. Speed Demon says, Hey, Scott, sir, just came from your newest short. I wanted to say that you're the greatest person on the planet. After losing such a sweet soul, you still went live. Didn't oh. didn't want to make you sad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, we... we... That's why I'm drawing a comfort person for me. Yeah. I think we just, we just kind of needed some normalcy. <clears throat> yep. Um... Oh, James Izzard says, watching you draw and share your day makes me feel better. I'm sick in bed and can't move a lot, so I appreciate you so much. Love you, Scott and Donna. Oh, well, hope um, you feel better. Yeah, feel better soon. Dilly Dilly says, um, how are you like, asks, how are you liking the new Legend of Zelda game? Um, I like it a lot. Uh, I, I, um, I'm really, really taking my time with it. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm just... I'm just moving these wires out of the way. You're all right. I, I'm 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 just taking it slow. I'm I'm not overthinking it. I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna take it slow. And so that's that's what I've been doing. Yeah, he comes. He sits down. He says, "I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna play a little Zelda. Do you want to come sit with me?" Yeah. So I bring my phone and I go over and I scroll while he's playing and I just sit with him. He's having fun though. You keep saying how you're having a good time with it. So yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I, I play for about maybe 20 minutes, and then that's it. So I'm really only playing a little bit a day. So it's funny because I, I go on to like a TikTok or something, and like everybody's live streaming yeah. playing, and I'm like, I don't want to watch you guys play. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, um, sorry, but my, my the whatever this thing is that I use from Amazon. Oh, the tablet do yeah, thing? Yeah, it's is... not... It not stopped turning working. On? Yeah. Oh, good grief. Well. Give me one second. Sorry. Uh, either that or I'll just use my phone. You got to keep it on, though. Yeah. Um, can you give me some tips and tricks to get in the mood of sketching? Because sometimes I want to sketch something, but I'm not in the mood. Um, I know that uh, for me, it is going to go to a museum if you can like you know go go look at a gallery go look at other people's art mm -hmm. or just look up other people's art yeah that definitely helps uh <coughs> here we go scott is drinking the um berries uh decaf tea um the irish uh pencil sharpener decaf. Um, I am drinking the um, Knights Bridge blend, which is the um, strong breakfast tea. They renamed it. Um, let's see. Um, my favorite artist is you and Alex Ross. Wow, you're in good company oh, in that you. sentence there. Yeah. 
Um, He's one of my favorites, too. Let's see. Um, thank you for using a mic or getting closer to the microphone. It's a lot easier to understand for us non-native speakers. You're welcome. Um, can you do more Harry Potter? I, I've got, um, if you look, I did most of Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, there's a video did. on it. Actually, a couple videos. Oh, thank you, Lavender Lee. Um, good morning from Poland. Good morning. Um, we are okay. We are doing okay. Um, I got us out of the house yesterday and uh, we went to the Ren Fair. We did. We went to the Ren Fair. Which was nice. Yeah. It was nice to just... Do something yeah, together. We, we took were... our son, one of our boys, and it was nice. So we uh, we did that. So, um, yeah. Um, I got a little henna. Here, let me show everybody. Oh, yeah, Donna got a henna tattoo. I got a little henna tattoo yesterday. Ignore my... Can you see it on the screen? Go down. I got... Oh, down this way? Yeah. I got a little henna tattoo, and then... Can you see it? You go back. There? Yeah, you had to find a... a oh, okay. Figure. Can you see... But can you see my yeah. arm, too? Yeah. So, they did a really good job. It looks really pretty, but I just had them put that on. So, that's what I did yesterday. So that was our, our day yesterday. Um, so um, I know a lot of you ask how um, I do this without erasing. Um, and if you look, you can still see the guidelines that I use to kind of map out the face uh, in these. Uh, you're, you're just, if you look, I'm drawing very lightly. And then once I'm confident with where things are, I can come in and I could do harder lines, thicker lines, heavier lines. So um, try that. Just try being lighter with your, with your lines. Kind of get an idea of where everything is. And then you can always tighten it up a little bit later. Uh, the Renaissance Festival is is what it is. The um, you know people dress up and they they do um, you know they have jousting and a whole bunch of other stuff and and all of that. So um, it was fun. We had giant pretzels and we drank lemonade and it was it was nice to just be out of the house. Um, Donna wore a dress. I did. I wore a dress yesterday. She I had looked a, like a princess. Yeah, I have like a little princess dress. Um, I'm going to Kerala, India soon. Any tips to maintain a travel journal? Um, I, I would, the, the thing that I did that Donna learned later uh, really works is to um, do a couple test runs. Mm -hmm. um, go out, mm -hmm. draw stuff, see, you'll, you'll learn, oh, I should have brought this or I didn't really need that. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what really helped me was doing it. Or you'll test just run. or you'll just overpack anyway, like I did when we went to Italy. <laughs> Donna overpacks. I brought about twenty six thousand pens, and I used one one pen. Yeah. Good morning, Santa. It did get a little jollier here, didn't it? Hey, Santa. Um, we stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at nine a.m. Central Time. Did you sense that Tennessee got a bit more festive today? He said. Mm. We feel you here, friend. Boy, do we ever. We need a little festive in, in our little hearts today. Battle Brook says, good morning. Wishing you both the best. Oh, Your you, video Battle yesterday Brooke. was super sweet. Thanks, Emmett. We appreciate it. It was hard to, hard to record. Yeah. I don't know how you did it. Um, I know you don't oil paint currently, but have you ever tried it? I'm wondering because I'm working on a painting now. Um, I... Did it once in high school, but mm -hmm. uh, there is one person here who does, and that's uh, one of our mods, uh, Bethany. Mm -hmm. And she is... She's doing videos, doing videos tutorial videos. Mm -hmm. Bethany, I don't know if you can drop a link. Yeah. For anybody who wants to learn oil painting. Yeah, she's done canvas prep and palette knives and swatching uh, paints, and she's done a bunch of stuff. 
really, really interesting um, videos. Um, crazy Kinetics, there's a video in the um, Art Hacks playlist on uh, Art Block. So check there. Um, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just t kind of taking this one a little slow. Um, no, thank you, Zainab. I appreciate that. What's your favorite Robin Williams movie? Oh, gosh. Um... Bicentennial Man. Um, I haven't watched Greyhound. Did you watch Greyhound? I've never heard of it. No. Um, it's not a permanent tattoo. It's a henna tattoo. Thanks, Gail. I'm going to watch the Duck March at the Peabody today. I think Scott needs to journal the Peabody Hotel Duck March. Oh, that's funny. Where is that? Well, apparently at the Peabody Hotel. Where's the Peabody Hotel is what I'm saying. Memphis. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, like I was like, how because did you not know? Santa brought you the sleigh. Was, you didn't say it was Santa. Oh, I oh I didn't. You were just reading a. Comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, he's just doing pencil today. This is a pencil sketch. Yeah, it's. I'm. I'm doing like this. Mm hmm. Mm. So, um, I. Can you tell the difference between this color, which is black cherry, and this color, yes. which is dark purple? Yes. You see how this has more color to it? Mm -hmm. And this one's a little, little less saturated? Yes. So I noticed this while I was drawing uh, last week with the black cherry pencil. And I was like, oh, because I was out of dark purple. And I was like, I got to get. So I ordered. Urgh. 24 more dark purple there's a lot more dark purples and a whole bunch more white yeah uh, thanks blick we appreciate blick. the quick yeah. shipping on that <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks for turning that around quickly for oh, us God. so i am good to go you're so funny for everybody who's um sending their condolences thank you very much we really appreciate it um it is um god it's a hard road yeah it's just a hard road so if we don't sound um if i don't sound chipper for the next little bit you'll you'll know why so um how do you find images to draw i googled um, you know, I, I, and there's a video on it too. Uh, but I to the, you know, I, I was this close to drawing Melanie Martinez cause I know a lot of people uh, have been asking me, but I just couldn't, you know, I just, I, she's weird looking. <laughs> the, the new thing is a little weird looking. Yeah. And, and as she's just, pretty without all that makeup on, but like four eyes and all the, I don't get it. But yeah. keep in mind, I'm also over 50, so I'm not going to get everything you guys like. So, But it was just, I wasn't in the mood, you know? Yeah. And and also, her song titles are stuff like leeches and spiders and maybe like darker she'd be stuff. Maybe good for Halloween. Yeah, maybe. But I'm just saying, it, yeah, so it was just, I was like, I'm just, I'm not in the mood for something darker. Dark. Yeah, we can't handle and dark I right now. I just needed something a little ice. I was like, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I think I'll just draw Robin and sketchbook shenanigans says your beautiful girl had an amazing life. She will be remembered by everyone here. We all cared for her. Thank you. That is the sweetest thing. Thank you so much. Gamer says, why have you been using purple pencils lately? The art pieces look awesome. Uh, you know what? I, I started doing them. Got a, a while ago, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, you just changed one day and grabbed a purple pencil. Yeah, I think I was doing the folds thing or something, mm -hmm. and I kind of liked how it looked, and then so I was kind of playing around. Mm -hmm. 
And then I did this, the, red, the Rosewood Inn one, and I really liked it. So mm -hmm. then I, we, we did a live one time, mm -hmm. and then uh, I did Traversia. And, the faces. Yeah, and then and then last year I did Black History Month, mm -hmm. and I really and drew tears for tears. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Huey, and then this year's Black History Month mm -hmm. kind of got me back. And this is you can see this is the, um, the black cherry, not the dark purple. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, yeah, and then I decided just to draw. I I was getting tired of. Well, it was two things. People were. Uh, asking to see the whole process. They didn't want me to just start with the inks because I was doing the pencils beforehand. But the mm -hmm. pencils take a while. And um, and I can't finish the inks and the paints in a 90-minute live. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll do this, and that way you guys can see the, the whole process from mm -hmm. a blank page on. Um, let's see. Um... They want you to draw some stuff from The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I think I will at some point. How do you find images to paint on Google? Well, I, I you know, again, there was a video on it, but I, uh, I will just look for, like in this case, I just said portrait, uh, Robin Williams portrait photography mm -hmm. was what I was looking for. Something that was a little more intimate and not like a movie still or something. And then... Um, but if I'm looking for like models or, or you know something more artsy to paint like a like a hair journal type of thing, uh, there's there's a uh, a video where I talk about where I get the the art reference, mm -hmm. and sometimes I pay for the uh, stock uh, the photography, and sometimes uh, there it's free. Mm -hmm. So you just if you can if the mods want to post that. Um, you know, you'll be able to see that. Um, let's see. Of course, I'm not looking forward to drawing the hand. Um, do you ever use Pinterest? Uh, not for searching, though. You know, my Google search might from time to time bring up yeah. a Pinterest. Um, what's the most strange looking animal in your opinion? Oh God, I don't know off the top of my head what is the most, but um, some of the sea creatures are pretty crazy, crazy yeah. looking. Can you give me some quick tips to improve my skin coloring skills? I feel like other than using only a couple of purples and reds, there should be more to it. Uh, I do, I do have a video on that for watercolor, mm -hmm. but I really only use like three colors. Santa says, Patch Adams was a beautiful film. I've always thought Robin Williams would have been great wearing the festive red suit for a film. Yeah, yeah. Patch Adams is He would great. have, yeah. Good morning, Lula. What would Scott Saba be if he wasn't an artist? Um, wow. We have no idea. I don't know. I was a game designer for a while. Um, so I don't know. Maybe... I, I'm I'm not organized enough to be a game designer. Like I I, I always hated the paperwork part of it. Uh, but um, you are not a paperwork kind of guy. I'm really not. Mm -mm, that's my job. Thank you, Tyler. We appreciate that. Um, what kind of sketchbook are you using, honey? This is the Strathmore 400 series, um, tanned paper. And he is using Prismacolor color pencils. And that is a uh, dark purple, Prismacolor color pencil. Yeah. Um, thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Pacer. We love you, kiddo. We're super proud of you, by the way. Super proud of you. Um, Caden says, you are my favorite artist ever, and your work always inspires me every day when one of your shorts show up. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Shout out to you being in Sarah Renee Clark's video. Oh, did she do the video already? Apparently. I did not see it. I'll, I'll have to look. Mm, your style of art is absolutely gorgeous. That's Liv. Thank you. Um, 
Thank I know you, I'm, I'm really taking this one very, very softly today. Um, I think uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm just taking it very slow. What kind of art do you do? Realistic art or comics like art? If not both, then what? Uh, I don't think, I would say probably 99% of artists don't have a genre. They just make art that makes them happy. And, um, and their art uh, is probably based off of a few different things. Like myself, um, it's a little bit of realism. It's a little bit of movie poster. It's a little bit of comic book. It's a little bit of Art Nouveau. Mm -hmm. So it, it's... it's um, it's not a, I do this type of art. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't. I just draw how and, 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 and what I want. And, and my style changes depending on my mood. Uh, if I'm doing this, is di like this style is different than this style, mm -hmm. which is probably a little different from this style mm -hmm. you see so this one i was feeling a little more pre-raphaelite mm -hmm. this one was a little more art nouveau mm -hmm. this one is i, I guess Plus a those are more... those are three different mediums i'm sorry i didn't yeah exactly yeah this is gouache this mm -hmm. is watercolors and inks this mm -hmm. is pencils mm -hmm. um so I, I i don't conform to a specific style like if i was doing specifically art nouveau there'd be a lot of things i could not do because they break away from the art nouveau style mm -hmm. and and i don't think most artists like that i don't i don't think artists like limitations so um i think it's it's better to say uh or ask you know what what were your influences uh and then someone could say oh i'm influenced by this artist or this style mm -hmm. or this movement or whatever that might be a little bit more um, closer to how, how artists work. I know I'm going to hate this hand. <laughs> I, mean, I just you hate know it, it every time you do hands. I know, I know. It, it, it's just such a weird you position, just don't, but I, I you liked don't, you, I know. I His liked face is face. adorable in yeah, that one. Yeah, but I mean, that's just yeah. a weird position for the hand. It's like it, it doesn't even look like it's his own hand. It's just weird. It looks like somebody just put a hairy hand up to his face. Good morning, Richard. Um, let's see. Yeah. If our mods um, answer the questions, it's because they know us because they're our friends. So you don't have to ask it again. You can just take it as though the mods are um, telling you. Yeah, the mods are here to help. Yeah, they're helping. And so. um, clearly I am... A little off today so I uh, if they tell you what we're doing then then that's what we're doing pencil sharpener um, sign of horses says hi lovely people how are you doing today didn't expect a live yeah we almost didn't go live yeah. that's okay do you that's still picky. use the eraser pencil I do I do um, from time to time I will I have them I have the mechanical ones in my travel bag, mm -hmm. and I've got uh, you know the the sharpened ones here, and I will use them from mm -hmm. time to time. It's a mood thing. Yeah. Um. No. Uh. There wasn't a typo. Definitely twenty four black cherry pencils. That's what we bought. Uh, do you still use the projector for paintings? From time to time. Um. It's sitting right here um i'll use it from yeah every once in a while if i need to mm -hmm. if I, I like i said i will use the projector for two reasons one for speed if i've got to get something drawn really quick i will use it for that or two for accuracy if it's if it's absolutely vital that it looks like a person or something then then i will do that but for the most part you know you can see i can get it kind of close and I think it's 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 a way to kind of um, not worry about perfectionism. I wish I could push it more into cartoonish, into a little more caricature, so that way it looked like them. But 
was a little bit more in my style, but I just think right now this is this is all I can give uh, to my art is to just see a photo and copy it and just be okay with it. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Chase. <laughs> what is your favorite breed of dog you like to draw? Rescue. Um, a, who is a beginner, check the Art Hacks playlist. There are so many videos in the Art Hacks playlist that'll give you some tips on where to start with different things. Um, have you used supplies from Lyra or Derwent before? Um, I think I have some Derwent mm -hmm. pencils, maybe. I think so. I And I know yeah. my... Um, the, the pencil grips, the extenders mm -hmm. for Derwent. Derwent, yeah. Um, um, no, this is not going to be inked or painted. This is just pencil today. Um, this is a question for Donna. How do you get the motivation to journal regularly? I make it a part of my um, daily routine. So um, every night I have a little system. Like we make dinner and then I finish dinner, do the dishes, clean up. And then I go to my desk and I draw. It's just kind of like the the next journal. thing. I'm sorry, journal. It's like the next thing in the my job on the list of things to do. I just I just go and do that. Um, helps to have a list too. Like you can check off the things that you do that day. You know, like I want to work out. Check the box. I want to take my vitamins. Check the box. You know, that kind of thing. So maybe a little habit tracker might might be helpful. Um. Thank you, Brandy. Scott, will you release more tutorials? Um, yeah, as I think of them, uh, you know, a lot of what I'm doing is uh, I, I don't consider myself a teacher. So a lot of what I do is either answering a question for somebody or, oh, hey, you know, here's a here's a tip or trick that I think is kind of interesting. So, um, think of what I do as more of a variety show <laughs> than, than uh, you know, just uh, lessons or something like that. It's more stream of consciousness. Um, let's see. Um, I love watching your streams before going to school. That's Jay. Thank you, Jay. Um, I'm watching your stream and it's lightning and thunder here. Oh, that sounds nice. It rained all day Saturday here. Yeah. And yesterday Which made was, the Ren Fair a little bit oh, soggy. It was very muddy. Yeah, it was very muddy, but that's okay. So um, I had probably about 15 people oh at the God. Ren Fair yeah, come up stopped to him yesterday. me and said, mm -hmm. are you the guy on YouTube or TikTok or whatever? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I am. Mostly kids, surprisingly. I was really... Mostly kids. I was just... I was really um He was surprised. stunned. Yeah. I was not stunned. I thought it was cute and funny. I was like <laughs> uh, It was really it was really it very, was very flattering. Very sweet. Yeah, it was very sweet. Very sweet. I was just sitting there. And it was I brought my stuff to draw, but I really didn't have mm -mm. the opportunity to and so well, I there just were I took a, photos. There were a lot of people there. I had my headphones on too. Yeah. yeah. You looked exactly like you did in the, let, I'm going to go out and sketch and this is what I do when I go out and sketch. He had his headphones on and he had his backpack and he had his little bag and he had his whatever. Anyway, it was funny. Um, thank you, Ron and I. We appreciate that. Um, um, let's see. Um, Sweetie B is first time on the live. Welcome. Um, I just got Prisma colors. What's your best tip on them before I try them out? Um, go light, like you see what I'm doing here, and get everything the way that you want to, and then slowly you can start pressing harder and harder and harder. And um, you can build up with pressure. Mm. Um, Rose, if you look in the 
um, marker playlist, there is a video that he did of Lizzo. And I think that is the best example of blending with alcohol markers. So take a look at that. I like the ice cube one, but Donna likes the Lizzo one. I love the Lizzo painting. I thought the, you can see the blending. You can watch the blending there. Um, I want to get better at painting, but I, sometimes I can't get the motivation. Do you have any tips for trying to get into a habit of art? That's live. Um, I think doing a journal is the best thing. And I know you're saying painting, mm -hmm. so maybe that might not be the best thing, but, um, if, if it's, if you're just not motivated to make art, try drawing the world around you. Another thing that, mm -hmm. that helps is to, um, change styles, change mediums, go to an art gallery, uh, anything that will change things up or seem exciting to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is also lower the amount of time that you spend on a piece. So that way you can get the satisfaction of finishing something. I know it's really hard when you have a larger piece Mm -hmm. And you keep looking at that going, ah, I got to finish this thing. So I try to finish a piece a day, give myself 90 minutes or an hour and you're done. Mm -hmm. Um, Scott's favorite cat is a cheetah. Um, yeah, I'm a little off on the chat here. So just, if I missed your comment, just put it in again. I'm sorry. Um, uh, bleak art is uh, was in an art block and is drawing again because of you. Oh. We've never been to Romania, but we'd like to go. Um, that is a Prismacolor um, black, no dark purple dark pencil. Purple. Um, he's only done murals on the walls of our boys' um, bedroom when they were babies. Pencil sharpener. No, I'm not going to pencil sharpener. Sorry, I'm going to just use the worn out bit for this. Good morning from Colorado. Good morning. Um, I want gouache or watercolor for my birthday and I'm a beginner. Can you help me decide? I would start off with watercolor. It's cheaper and easier to pick up. Do you do landscapes um, in the hobbit hole or do you lands do landscapes when you're out painting? Landscapes when I'm out painting. Do you have know. a favorite... Um, Robin Williams movie. Uh, yeah, um, Bicentennial Man is the one that came to mind. Okay. Um, the mods don't unlock the rules channel until we're done with the live because they mod our um, Discord as well. So you have to wait till after the live and you have to agree to our rules. Um, T Bell sent you a very generous tip and says you are amazing. Thank you, T Bell. Um, That's very nice of you. Totally unnecessary, but thank you. Boy, you guys are chatty today. Um, I'm off today and you're chatty today. <laughs> um, uh, we love all animals, but I'm allergic to cats. Um, I love you guys. Don't tell Scott, but Donna is my favorite. I'm not going to tell you who said that to <laughs> call them out, but I got a little red heart. So thank you. Love you. That's okay. To be honest, she's my favorite too. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Let's see. Um, you said watercolors are good for beginners, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, uh, yeah, you know what? Scott's not going to teach me how to draw. He's tried that already. But I um, tried to teach the whole family. Yeah. It um, was a disaster. I dressed up for the Ren Fair. I have a, a princess dress that I wore. you want to show the picture? No. <laughs> um, because my eyes were swollen, so no. It was a small, away, far away picture. No. Um, I don't care. You can show it. Just don't show the one that's close up of my eyes. <laughs> I'm not trying to convince I you. I just um, accepted your decision. Santa says Scott is the mad artist, mad scientist of, of artists. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And poof, amazing art. Or a ripped in half drawing in a shocked community. Yeah. Santa, you are so funny and correct. Uh, the comic book kid. There is a video on finding your art style in the Art Hacks playlist. Um, Naomi's dragons. That is exactly what happened to us. 
Um, Scott's done animation in a previous um, career iteration. There's Donna. Yeah, there I was. You wore a nice princess dress. I did. I did. These are some of the other pictures I took at the Ren Fair. It was really fun. It was a nice distraction for the day. Which we desperately needed. Yeah. So. There's Donna getting her tattoo. Her henna tattoo. Yeah. That was fun. The woman was very, very sweet. There she is waiting in line for lemonade. Oh my gosh, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. They made great <laughs> it lemonade. Was good lemonade. It was so good. Um, how do you know what medium or style to use? You don't, but um, when you do something enough times, you kind of uh, you you get a little more comfortable with things, and that's really mm. all that's, all that's happening is. Um, I could have done this in watercolor. I could have done it in gouache. Um, I could have done it in crayons. But um, right now, I feel like my portraits are looking really nice with the pencil because I don't have to worry about the styles of the, the line work and the inks. Um, I, I don't feel like I have to worry about building stuff up like I did with the, uh, the, the, uh, the gouache. Um, so... You know, Liv uh, says pastries and Scott Sava is literally my perfect morning. <laughs> uh, pencil sharpener. Emma says where I was yesterday, I came across two people who watch your videos. Emma did the same thing we did yesterday. She went to a, um, a festival like oh, like the really? Ren Festival. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And you and and she actually met. She dressed up. No, but. Emma yeah. went to a festival like we did yesterday. And said what? What did what was the comment that you you read? I don't remember. I came across two people who watched your videos. Oh yeah. How did they how I don't did know. they connect on that? Yeah, that's I don't know. Emma, how did they I'm sorry, what... I didn't <laughs> Scott, the dots are not connecting this morning, okay? All right? You're lucky I'm sitting here. So... I know, but it's when you argue with me. I because I didn't even hear what I said. Um, is it cheating using blending markers no. with colored pencils? No. If the question is, is it cheating, I'm going to automatically say no. I'm not even going to listen to the rest of the question. There's no such thing as cheating in um, art. Diana wants you to do tattoos. If anybody ever wants to use No, my... no. To show how you would do a draw a tattoo on a person on a painting. Oh, I've done tattoos. Um, here, hold on a second. Uh, if you had to choose one art supply that you had to use for a year or more, what would you use? One type of sketchbook, one type of coloring tool, etc. Um, I think what I'm doing right now for my travel journal, which is the, yeah. the watercolor and the ink and everything. I've got this one that I painted back in 2019. Mm -hmm. A fairy with some tattoos. Eh. Or I think I called it a nymph. Your lives have become a, a, like a podcast for this person. Is Scott a night owl? No. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm asleep by 10. Mm -hmm. I'm in bed by 9. Mm -hmm. And I am up by 6. I like the mornings. Any tips for helping my 7-year-old daughter? I've always struggled with confidence in my own art and my daughter's having the same struggles, getting upset when her painting doesn't turn out perfect. Um, I, I, I think there, there just has to be this understanding that there is no such thing as perfect. And I think mm -hmm. you have to. Progress, not perfection. Yeah, but you have to stop valuing the materials. And, and if you're using very expensive materials, then I think maybe that might be the problem. Get a pencil and paper, get a sketchbook and fill up sketchbooks. So that way you can make mm -hmm. a mistake and you can just turn the page. Make a mistake mm -hmm. and turn the page. But the thing is, is that I think people put so much emphasis on it has to be perfect. It has to be this, this gorgeous work of art. And, and, it, it, and I just, I've done in the last three years over a thousand pieces of art because I'm just making art and mm -hmm. I don't like every single piece. I don't love every single piece. Um, I already know I'm going to hate this hand, you know, but you make it, 
and then you turn the page and you turn the page and you turn the page and you turn the page. Turn the page. I think that's where you have to to, to um, start enjoying art as a process and enjoy art as a journey, not the destination. Mm -hmm. That's life too. Yeah. That's what all the people say. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, everybody. They liked the dress. Um, Riding high on Monday. Shot down in May. There you go. But it is May, so you're shooting me down at the same time. Um, how long does a pencil sketch on average take to finish? This looks great. Oh, thanks. Now, these are all done in about 60 to 90 minutes, depending on how slow I am. And I'm going pretty slow today. So this will definitely be 90 minutes. Um, Sophia says, good morning, watching your live while I work out. Love watching your videos and lives in the morning. It helps uh -oh. me start off my morning in a positive way. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely workout. Ellen says, ah, pretty dress. I would love to go to the Ren Fair with you and Bethany Primrose, the shenanigans we would get up to. <laughs> yes, indeed. Shenanigans. Let me tell you, though, really, mostly the thing you'd get up to the most with me would be, um, let's see, pretzels and big turkey legs, um, maybe some funnel cakes and lots of lemonade because I just go there to eat. Really, that's because they have the best pretzels. Oh, my God. They were so good. And the lemonade was so good. I'm really like a foodie when I go to festivals. I'm like, oh, I want to try. I want a funnel cake and I want an ice cream and I want this. Pencil sharpener. <laughs> Yeah, and then Dude. afterwards we went out for ice cream. <laughs> we did. We went. We took. We took our son and we went to, to get me. ice cream last night. It was I'm like, fun. I need to lose. I need. To well, that's not my fault. Get on the treadmill. Not my problem. Having trouble with watercolor. How do you use it correctly, and what is it like? There is a lot of videos on that in Art Hacks mm -hmm. playlist. But my biggest. Uh, Recommendation to start off is to work light to dark. <laughs> Ryan says, does everyone say huzzah at the Renaissance Fair? Is that just something they say on Mystery Science Theater 3000? No, it's, a, it's, they, it's they totally a thing. It's totally a thing. Like when you leave them a tip, huzzah to the pepper tipper. That's what they said yesterday. It was cute. What is your biggest tip for art? Uh, draw everything every day. What type of food would you say you like the most? There is an Assyrian dish that I like the most. It's called sherva. It's like a mm -hmm. stew with uh, Assyrian rice. Mm -hmm. It is a labor of love because you have to stand over the pot to cook that. Pencil sharpener. Do you recommend staying on one medium to get good and then moving on to the next or just try out lots of them? I'm sorry. Uh, one second. Okay. Ask again. Everything okay? Yeah, just a business thing. Oh. Uh, do you recommend staying on one medium to get good and then moving on to the next or just try out lots of them? Yes. <laughs> I think, uh, I, I think, well, both, how do you I say? Was, I'm uh, joking. I was just being funny, honey. It's okay. Uh -huh. I, I think both are good. Depends on who you are and how you are. But I think the most important thing is drawing. If you can draw, then you can figure out everything else. So, it, it, you know, if you want to try, like, I want to try colored pencils and markers and paint and this and that, and you want to try something different each day, that's fine. So long, so long as you can draw. Just draw. But it is better. You will learn something better and quicker if you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. That is just, you know, human nature. Emma says, where we sat under a tree out of the sun, they were drawing and we got to chatting. Oh, uh, that's cute. Um, Nicole. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm not okay. But it's all right. I miss her. Um, you can contact Scott on... Um, the social medias are really hard because he gets about a million comments on all the things. Um, probably the best way to talk to him is um, on the Discord server. It's just a little bit more personal with a lot of our um, friends there. And people ask questions and people share art and we just have a good time. You have to be nice. That's our main 
um, our main thing. And if you're not nice, I pull the mom card and I boot you from the server because we just can't have not nice. We need to be nice to each other. The world is a difficult enough place. Um, Emma says, my little one was walking around the weekend with a wooden sword shouting huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Emma. That's so great. Wow, you gave him a wooden sword, huh? Wow, you're a brave woman. I noticed yesterday there were literally like two kinds of, of um, or three kinds of people, like people who would dress as like fairies or um, like some kind of animal, like um, like Mr. Tumnus, you know, like half half human, fantasy. half, yeah, fantasy kind of characters. And then there were like the princess type characters of which that was me. And then there were like the wenches, you know, they have the swords and the pirate stuff and the whatever. It was really funny. It was, it was, <coughs> it was great. Will you be at VidCon this year? No, no. I, I, um, um, I think there's just, that's too much peopling for me. Yeah. You had a hard time peopling yesterday, but you did well. Thank you. Um, Scott has tried anime style. Um, Dragon Art is 13 and has been drawing a while and asks, what tips do you recommend to draw realistic drawings? Um, photo reference. Photo reference and copy it. And don't be afraid to trace. Um, are your kids also doing some art? I'm just trying not to overdo it with my little girl. I hope she will not hate drawing because I like it so much. No, no. Um, mm -hmm. I tried to get them into it, and they're like, "No, we don't want to be an artist like you." Yeah, but so, ours are twenty. You know what? Well, Keep but they the, said that when they were younger. I know. And... Keep the art supplies around, and just let her know. You know, encourage her. You know, always yeah. make sure she has a sketchbook and drawing and coloring supplies, and just don't don't, don't make force them it. feel yeah forced. Yeah, and don't let them think that you would in any way be disappointed if they weren't yeah. artists. You yeah. Know, if it's something that they want to do, they'll do it. Yeah. Pencil sharpener. And honestly, for the record, one of our boys does keep a journal. He writes all of his ideas for stories and he does do little sketches and things like that in a book. Um, our other one could sketch and is very talented, but chooses not to. And that's okay. At Actually, some... you could see some of his art here. Scott, don't do that to him. <laughs> Aw. Look at that. I know. So freaking cute, huh? Um, Raider says, I know the answer to this, but can Scott, but this can test Scott if you like. Is it cheating to copy someone else's work without giving credit? Um, no, 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 no. It is not cheating, and it is perfectly okay to do that um, to learn. The, the the thing that people they they because you guys are living in the world of the internet you're living with people just being able to you know right click save as you know and you could save someone's work and you could put your name on it and that's what people are terrified of is like hey he's stealing hey she's stealing hey they're doing this hey they're doing that it Artists are supposed to copy other artists. They're supposed to learn from other artists. It is good to give credit. Here is a copy I did of this person's artwork. I love their work. If you respect that artist and you like their work, you're going to want to lift them up. You're going to want to say, this is what I'm doing. I'm, co you know, it's like I, I saw, I really like Leonardo da Vinci's work. So I copied it. Mm -hmm. And, 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 you it's, do that too to find your um, to art find your own style. style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so, but it's not cheating to copy it, and it's not cheating to upload your work, that copy of the work without crediting somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just not nice to not credit somebody. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. But again, cheating means cheating mm -hmm. means that there are rules, and there are no rules in art. Mm -hmm. You can steal. You can claim it's yours. You could. It's not cheating. It's copyright infringement, maybe, but it's not cheating. So I'm just, it's a terminology thing. And um, the, the point is that you just be nice. And, and if somebody, incur if somebody 
If somebody's artwork inspires you, I don't know why you wouldn't credit them. Um. Okay, I lost one of the comments that I or one of the questions I needed to read to you. Oh, do you use a paper towel over your drawing so it doesn't smear? Yes. Yeah. Uh, colored pencils don't smear, but they they will smudge a little bit and it'll kind of ghost a, a little. And uh, so I just I found that it's just better to do this. Okay. Huzaifa says, and I quote, Donna is really cool. She really joins you in your lives and interacts love to both of you. Oh, yeah, she is. That, that I'm cool right there. there it are. says, I'm cool. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, you can show Scott your art on the Discord. And Steph Nerd says, wait, wait, turkey legs and funnel cake. Okay, I'm in. And pretzels and yes. lemonade. What kind of car is Esmeralda? She's a 1967 Mercury Cougar. We have so many art supplies. There's no point in even counting. I mean, honest to goodness, <laughs> there is like, a video where I go, th where I, I do show as many as I could find in the in the um, Hobbit hole. And where would that be in the art hacks playlist? Maybe. Yeah. Just but just I think if you go supplies. to the search bar uh, under my channel and you look up art supplies, it might be it. I don't know. Maybe one of the mods might be able to find it. Olivia says, hey, Scott, I just love to draw and paint. And the more I'm learning about myself, I think it's more of therapy for me. And watching your videos really helped me get back to it after so long. Oh, that's great. Um, how do I know that the art I made is good? Sometimes I make a drawing that I really like, but I think, is this good? Or do I just don't see the mistakes I made? Um, if you're happy, if, if that makes you happy, I think that's a wonderful thing. That's really all you need to worry about. Unless you're trying to make a career, in which case then you're under the scrutiny of what is what's public perception. And that's a whole other thing. You could love your work and everybody who sees it hates it, thinks it's the worst thing ever. You could hate your work and everybody loves it. You know, so yeah. it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's art is subjective. So just keep that in mind. Uh, hold on. Keep that in mind and decide if you're trying to make yourself happy or if you want to sell your work and make other people happy. And that's what the goal that you're aiming for. If making yourself is happy, then make yourself happy. You'll know. If you're trying to make others happy, then you're going to have to put your work out there and see what clicks. Um, okay, the tea journal I have is a custom made journal and it is by Reimagined by Luna. Um, you can find them. Let me put, I'll put the, um, I'll put it in the chat um, so you can follow them. Um, I'll put it in the chat. How's that? Um, where did it go? Um,. PG Pond. Let me see. I will put it in the chat. Um, let's see. It's reimagined by Luna.com. Come on. There you go. Um, we'll see if that came through. Um, but she makes, um, all sorts of things with reclaimed leather and reclaimed burlap bags. It's, it's a lovely one. Um, thank you, Gracie. Um, I'm building my palette using tubes into pans, but I'm not sure how to line them up color wise. Any tips? Thank you, Sarah. Um, I, I, the tips of where to put them is really purely up to your preference. You know, you might want to have all of your warm colors on one side and your cool colors on the other. You might want to go in like a chromatic order. You might want to say, well, I use these colors more and these colors less. It's really up to you. It's, Is it it's preference? Preference. Pencil sharpener. 
Oh, Jamie, take a nap and then be productive, honey. My hands are really shaky and I have a bad coffee addiction because it's amazing, but I love to paint. How can I create good art with shaky hands? Oh, um, I rest my hand. You see that I have this paper here. I rest my hand on here. I mean, I don't have a shaky hand, but if you rest your hand, uh, you can do... You guys can see this side, right? Yes, honey? Yes, we can see okay. the other side. I'm so sorry. So if I was to draw without resting my hand, that is a line. You see it? And it's a little wobbly. But if I rest my hand and I just am moving my finger... I can get a much straighter line. And that's how I get my consistency is I'm, there's less movement. It's just my fingers. I don't know if this will help you because maybe your fingers are, are, are shaky. I don't know. But, um, oops, I forgot to hit record a while ago. Uh-oh. That's no good. That's okay. But, um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Blick says, uh, Donna and Scott, breaking character here. I'm so sorry for your loss. I read once that dogs are proof the universe does not want us to be lonely, and I believe that with all my heart. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Blick, Blick. We really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. It's, um, yeah, it's been difficult. Um, it's always hard to say goodbye. Yeah. Ooh, Emma's the dad, the Emma's little boy. The daddy gave him the sword. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dads do that because then they don't. They walk away at that point. They're like, yeah, Oh look, he the, has a sword. You're we're terrible. the worst. You are. Do you know how many swords and shields and all the things the boys had over the years? And I was like, why are you giving that to them? And they would joust. And luckily, some of the swords were, you know, foam. So that wasn't as bad. But oh, Lord. Um, I just Google Ren Fairs in your area. That Tracy, that would be a good way to look at it or to try to find it. Um, ours is run by the um, Parks and Recreations Department now. Um, it was bought by them and they're running it now. Um, you can send the art through the um, Discord. That's the best way to do it. Or you can tag us if you don't want to join the Discord or can't join the Discord. You can tag us on social media, but you have to tag Scott or he won't see it. Um, and even so, he gets tagged in so many things. Um, do you think going to art class is beneficial? It depends on if you're someone who learns well from teachers. If you're someone like me, I was not very good at taking instruction. Um, so I did not, I benefited very little from it. Um, but um, if you're someone who could do that, then then I would say absolutely, especially if you can get a good teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. in, if not, then just doing it is all you'll ever need. Um. Thank you, Butterfly Girl. Thank you, Blue Jay. We appreciate that so very much. Um, I've seen a video that said you love drawing Donna, and one question keeps popping into my head. Have you ever drawn Donna as <laughs> Deanna Troy? I would. That would be flattering. Yeah. I've met her. She's lovely. Okay. Is it Deanna Troy or not Diana of Troy? No, Deanna Troy. From Star Trek? Mm -hmm, I think so, yeah. Um, no, he hasn't. Have you ever, how do you get into the film business? I have drawn Deanna Troy. Yeah, but not me as Star her. Trek. Have you ever, how do you get into the film business? I know you designed posters. I want to become a storyboard artist, but I have no relatives in the business. Uh, you don't need relatives. Um, the nepotism is not required. I didn't have any relatives uh, in the business. It's not required, uh, but it's a thing. Yeah, definitely could help, but I mean, it's not required in any way. Um, you want to do storyboards, you got to do a lot of storyboards. Storyboard, get get scripts and storyboard them. And watch, as a storyboard artist, you're a director. So you have to think of cameras, uh, camera angles, and, 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 and lighting, and, and all of that stuff. So please, please, please practice that. But 
the way you get any job in Hollywood is to show a portfolio that, that says that you're proficient at that job. Mm-hmm. Pencil sharpener. Um. Um. Are you gonna put the Keanu painting on the web on the shop? Oh yeah, there's a bunch. I I, I never put Kiwi Kwan or a bunch of others up. I've got to scan them in. I I I wasn't thrilled with this area of the nose. Feels a little undefined, and um, it's so hard to do a, a a gouache painting in ninety minutes. It really is. But I think it came out okay. But yeah, I'll I'll try to put it up. What do I do when I don't like my art? Should I just rip it up or can I try and fix the struggle? No, or no, no, no. fix it. I struggle with this thought. Don't try to fix it. Um, I mean, look, you, you, there's nothing wrong with trying to fix a piece of art, of course. But my, my point is, is to just save it um, and try again. You don't have to try the exact same piece, but just keep making art. You're going to learn from it and move on to the next one. But uh, a lot of people get caught up in trying to fix a piece, and that just makes it even more and more frustrating. Um, rather than that, I would just say move on to the next one. Like the Keanu Reeves, I spent 90 minutes on it, move on to the next one. Now, if I was trying to get good at gouache, I would spend more than 90 minutes. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to just finish a piece Go, okay, wasn't my greatest, d not really happy with it, move on to the next one. Um, yeah, Ren Fair food is great. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, sketchbook shenanigans way too soon. Um, Gail has had great food at Ren Fairs. I know they have such good food there. Everything smells good. Um, I really like the thing you said about line art, making your own coloring book. Um, thing is, I suck at coloring. I would love to hear your tips and tricks on coloring. Thanks. Um, I haven't really come up with any tips or tricks on coloring um, as to why I pick certain colors. I think a lot of what I do is based off of the palette of mm -hmm. stuff I grew up with in the 90s. You know, things had a little bit more of a pastel kind of palette. Um, do you remember your first art piece that you liked? I guess it would be that Spider-Man piece that uh, is the first image from uh, uh look at my yes you know, seeing my art over the last 40 years jessica says is it annoying for you to get tagged in a lot of posts i started a travel journal and i always wanted to tag you for credit since i take com um, take elements from your style but i don't want to annoy you oh thank you for asking um i think if uh if i get tagged once from somebody not annoying i think if i get tagged every day um i usually will mute that person so um that, that's really it because i want to be able to see other people's stuff mm -hmm. and if this if i get tagged every single day from the same person i have to kind of go okay i i've seen your stuff let me move on to other people because i get literally thousands a day and um you know like i said i i that that's at least how it is for me um Wanda says, this is a question I've been needing to ask. How do you keep to one sketchbook without feeling you need to, you need a fresh start? I have so many half finished, half finished sketchbooks. Any advice? Well, just here, just here on, on my desk, I have my travel journal, which is only that finished. Um, I've got this little sketchbook, which is only that finished. Um, I've got this one, which is only so finished. And I have probably five or six other sketchbooks. I have one that's gouache. I have 
uh, the watercolor ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I just bought this one from Blick, mm -hmm. which is a smaller uh, one. Mm -hmm. So you're not wrong. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, sometimes you're in the mood for... I have different sketchbooks for different feelings. So sometimes I might want to draw smaller. Sometimes I might want to draw, um, might want to draw in watercolor. Sometimes I might want to draw, you know, that kind of thing. So it, it really just nothing wrong with it. I promise you're totally a normal artist. Um, and I have done for years, I have done the, um, Um, I have done the half um, finished sketchbook or journals, writing journals. And um, just uh, just keep going. That's all, what I would recommend. Um, Livy plays. There is um, a playlist in the thing on hair. You can check that out. Um the Discord link has been in the comments quite a bit, so you can check that, and um, that will give you some um, good stuff on hair. Um, let's see. I don't think it's the best likeness, but... Scott's done flowers. If you look at the um, 30 Days of National Animals, he also did National Flowers in there as well. You're like one of the only people who respond to our comments. That's cute. Um, well, in Scott's defense, um, I'm sitting here reading all of your comments to him so that he can answer and he can focus on the drawing at the same time. Yeah. So a lot of people go live by themselves and it's very hard. Like Santa will come on and he'll have pff, thousands of people on a live and there's no way he can answer all of those questions. Um, so... We just kind of we got great here. mods too. We're, yeah, and our I could never answer all of these. So, but um, but yeah, I mean the mods help answering the ones that, that that they know, and then we answer some other ones. It's it's a group effort. Um, how much better does quality art supplies help when drawing? Um, it doesn't help your drawing. Um, it, it will help uh, in in the finished art, mm -hmm. but not in the drawing. Your drawing is up to practice. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's draw everything it, every day. Yeah, um, you don't need all you need is a number two pencil and a mm -hmm. piece of copy paper, mm -hmm. uh, to, or to, the back side of an envelope. Yeah, that's all you need to get good at drawing. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, your art will improve with better materials. But first, you got to learn how to draw. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blick says, this is shaping up to be a really fine drawing. Love the patterning of marks describing the topography of the face. Thank you. Thank you. So, I, I, it's, it's just some of it is not working as, you know, like, and, and that's just, again, you know, the, you, they don't, they didn't come out the way that I wanted it to, but you're like, eh, it is what it is. But I think if I was doing this professionally and wanted to, I, I, I would have practiced a little more at it. Um, um, Ankin says, hello, I love to draw, but I have a problem. No one takes art seriously in India, but you guys are really motivated me to carry on. And now I can draw pretty good. Thank you. Oh, that's great. We well, have I a lot they're... of, we have a lot of friends here from India that do take art very seriously, yeah. but we understand that it's very expensive to buy supplies there. Yeah. Um, Scott has done dinosaurs very recently in his travel uh, notebook from the zoo. Um, yeah, here. Here's... I always want to draw, but I don't know what to draw. Any examples? Uh, yes. There is a video on that. There's some dinosaurs. Um... off let's see thank you uh, Pragin yeah I get you 
Thanks, Bethany. We'll send those over. Um, tips on hatching. Lines for shading is something I'm terrible at. This looks great. Oh, thank you. Um, when I do this, hold on, pencil sharpener. I'm following the, the flow of the face. So, you know, I'm following from his chin up to the cheek, down the nose, across the top of his nose. Um, you know, that's what I'm looking at. You know, this is going, you know, along the, the, the underneath of the eye. These are, these are things, and then every once in a while to get a little more darkness, to get a little more contrast, you can go a, a counter to that. Um, that's what you're doing. You're seeing it as a three-dimensional uh, face, which is, you know, what it is. So if I was doing a box or a cube, I would do... I could do this, I could do this, I could do that. So this way you can clearly see, I know this cube is wonky, but you can clearly That's see. That's a technical term, folks, wonky. Yeah. You can see the direction, and I'm following the, 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 the direction of the face of the things. And then again, if I was gonna give it some lighting, I could, do that yeah, or I can go sometimes in a cross hatch but oh I don't want to do this hand I know um let's see um I, Ryan says I love that my architecture drawings are sometimes hit and miss but I love every one of them and look forward to the next one yeah um is it hot is hot press or cold press better for back runs i don't know what that is i did a video on hot press and cold press yeah and and, and what they're good for yeah not knowing what back runs are mm -hmm. um i would say uh, maybe they meant backgrounds oh maybe i don't know i don't know um what got you into art um I, my mom was an artist, my uncle was an artist, and so I kind of was always around art. And I fell in love with Spider-Man. Have you ever drawn Deadpool? I have. And actually, the few, there's a video where I did Nick Fury, Tony Stark, Black Widow and Deadpool. Uh, the tea of the day is just the strong breakfast tea. Um, thank you, Nilla Wafer. They want you to just do single flowers, just a single flower. Um, let's see. I did that with the uh, the Utrecht video yeah thank you Anaga we appreciate that um oh Nilla Wafer says we're the sweetest people that they've ever met and watched the lives when they need motivation to draw oh thank you that's very sweet um I have a lot of ideas but not in the mood for drawing but when I'm in the mood I don't know what to draw any yeah. advice that's funny um I I save uh the reference he has a, a reference folder on his thing. Yeah. How do you, let me ask you this question on that same vein. When we're out like we were in Venice or Disney World or whatever, how do you decide what to draw? And on that same note, um, how does it work when you're home and we're going out to lunch and you're bringing your sketchbook and you just want to draw something? How do you decide what to draw then? Um, it's an aesthetic. You're looking for something. You're looking for, for me, it's usually lighting. I'm looking for how the shadow's hitting something, mm -hmm. the light and shadows. Mm -hmm. um, but also, what's an interesting building? What's an interesting scene um, or character or person? It's, it's, and, and what I find interesting is going to be completely different than what other people find interesting. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. true, true. Um, 
Did you start off as a decently good um, artist? Is it possible for someone to not be good even if they try? Um, I think we all start off uh, somewhere. I mean, I had a natural talent, so it was a little bit easier for me. But um, I mean, you could say that about sports. You could say that about reading. You could say that about walking. You could say, you know, like we all start somewhere mm -hmm. and then we do it enough to where we get better at it. Some people are really good runners. Some people aren't. Um, but some people spend a lot more time at it. There's people who are naturally really good. And then the rest of us were just good enough and and it makes us happy and and that's i think i'm i'm good enough that's that's how i see myself um i call it backgrounds but i've also heard it called blooms or cauliflower i don't i don't know what you're asking i'm sorry Is there any chance you could post a list of random objects for people who are following your draw every day and want to take the stress out of choosing what to draw? And it does not sound silly, Vicky. That's a great idea. Why don't you do that? Why don't you put a list in the community chat of things for people to draw? Okay, we could do that in the, um, we could actually pick on the Discord. We can have everybody just come up with stuff, but yeah, yeah maybe we might need photos of stuff. Should we do photos or should you grab what's around you? What do you guys think? What do you think, Vicky? I think photo examples might be a good thing too. You know? I think that, that would be a good idea. Um, the coffee's ready, but I'm too tired to get up and get it. I need coffee first. You need coffee before your coffee, huh, Ryan? I feel that so much. Oh. oh, thank you, sketchbook shenanigans. How do you overcome the fear of starting a sketchbook? I bought several sketchbooks that are a piece of art by themselves, so I'm very scared of starting and then ruining them. There's a video on my first that's, page of the sketchbook, and I usually will do something... Yeah. Uh, like a nicer piece mm -hmm. on the first page that mm -hmm. makes me feel good. I paste a, a poem about writing in the front cover of my writing journal. Sometimes I use washi tape or stickers. Um, Jamie says, I wonder why. I wondered why you chose a picture with a hand on a Monday. Yeah. Yeah, Scott chose chaos today. Oh, Gail. Gail sent you a nice tip and says, I have to leave to grocery shop, but before I do, I'm sending huge squeezy hugs to both of you and anyone who's having a difficult time. Thank you for going live today. Love you Thank both. Thank you, Gail. Gail, we love you too. Um, it is... Good day from Australia. It's 1.22 a.m. here. What time is it where you are? 10.26 a.m. Yeah, very similar to how do you know what to take a picture of and then draw it. Yeah, very similar to how do you know what to, what's, whatever catches your eye, I guess. That's a great yeah. way to do it. Did That's, Sam Does Art see your no undo challenge video? No. Should art schools teach students how to use AI image generators besides foundational skills, I wonder? No, no. Um, and there's, I don't, there's no, no practical use to learning AI uh, image generators uh, for art. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it'd be like going to, to music school and learning how to tell a computer how to write music for you. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's counterintuitive, you know, or going to writing school and learning how to you know, um, get uh, open G open chat GPT to write for you. Um, it, it does nothing for you. Um, we do need to figure out a way to regulate it, but I, I just think that 
Pandora's box has already been opened. And I think, you know, there's going to be digital actors and musicians and, and whatnot. And there are going to be people with no talent uh, making movies and music and art mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. novels. Yep. And you, taking all the credit and everything based on something that was written by a computer. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and and I don't think that there's anything we could do about it. I really don't because the technology is there, and you can have governments deregulate it. You could have it, and people are still going to find a way to use it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we just need to be able to find a way to. Uh, detect it a little better because you know it's gonna get better at hands yeah. and and if you look at even that that um the the beer commercial that i posted that was all you know it, it's there's gonna be digital actors there's gonna be digital mm -hmm. music you know and and again this is it doesn't benefit anybody that's you know like you if you're going to create something, create it to benefit the world in mm -hmm. some way. Don't do it to ruin people's lives. Mm -hmm. Did you use the squiggly lines on his hand because of the hair? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm lazy. I just I just didn't want to do the hair the hand. Um, they want photos because sometimes people have a hard time picking reference. So a list of things to draw every day and photo reference. Yes, I knew there was a space pen that goes upside down, writes upside down, also writes in uh, zero gravity. Do you use the vegetable sparkles or the plastic sparkles? Um, I don't. I use whatever sparkles come in the pen with ink. Can you try out Dom's art supplies? They are cheap and great. Um, I could look for them, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we all raised a glass and toasted to Arwen on Friday night. Um, it was kind of funny. We poured our boys a little glass of bourbon i think it was and they were like <laughs> how do you people drink this crap this is terrible we don't like it mm, yeah it people, was gross. people send us alcohol i'm yeah. not an alcohol they, drinker. look there's a signed bottle of battlefield bourbon look yeah. here's a bottle of uh whiskey you know here's a here's some port you know have a nice glass of wine oh emma says i don't know about donna but i call glitter the devil's dandruff Glitter is just gl glitter's not glitter's good for like one thing and that's pissing people off. Um Yeah, so we 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 didn't have a funeral but we did toast our puppy. Um Yeah, we did. NASA spent a million dollars developing the space pen. Russian space agency used a pencil, LOL. Yeah. Um he wants to try sculpting, don't you? I would, I would. I just need to meet with somebody who knows the um, the materials and what to do. As a person that has anxiety, autism, and ADHD, I feel very comfortable here. That's Nilla Wafer. Oh, thank you. We are so glad you feel comfortable here. You are always welcome with us. And again, I apologize for being a little um, you're more than droopy today. It's totally understandable. I know. I just, um, I don't like to be droopy. I like to be perky and happy when I come on here and talk to you guys, but my heart's just not, uh, not perky and happy today. Um, Dragon Art says, love your vids. You have been a great inspiration to me throughout my art journey. Your art is fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank you. And what is your favorite video game? Favorite video game? Mm -hmm. Right now, Zelda. Thank you. I think more conversations about how AI will impact our lives are important. I agree. It's here. There's a lot of people that say we should put the brakes on it in a very big way. Yeah. Um, and um, I think the conversations need to happen. I, I just, and that's why, you know, like I, I'm not going to shy away from AI. Uh, you know, like I said, that's why I made a video where I talk about um, how you can use AI mm -hmm. to inspire your own work mm -hmm. because again, it's here already. But also 
I'm going to make fun of people who will use AI to win awards. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was satire, guys. Yeah, but no, you know, and it's funny because people go, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. So disappointed, unfollowing. Okay. Um, yeah, it's I, just I, I'm silly. not going to explain satire yeah, to you, but it's okay. Just silly. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. you know, the thing is, is that um, I think we should have conversations about it. Uh, and and I and I also think I also think that people need to let people have feelings and, and thoughts and ideas without instantly getting upset about it. Like if I if I said um, oh, I think AI is great, um, you can't just go oh well, I mean you can't but it, it doesn't make any sense to say oh unfollowed I'm never going to talk to that person again I'm going yeah mm -hmm. why do you think it's great blah 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 mm -hmm. blah blah. And again, it's I don't the, think it's great, but I, I have the dialogue. Yeah, I am very interested in it. I'm interested in its capabilities. Mm -hmm. I think the art, the, the images that it produces are absolutely incredible. And um, I want to see how I can use it to, you know, improve my art or to inspire me to make more art or whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Mm -hmm. But again, I do I don't agree with it being used as art, you know, I, I just, I just don't think because again, it, it's just, it doesn't benefit anybody, but all right. Um, I am going to just finish the rest of this maybe later. I'm, I'm getting a little tired and, uh, we all know I'm tired. Yeah. Um, thanks for being here, everybody. And, um, yeah, and thank you for all of you in your um, your condolences and and everything else. We really appreciate it. It's um, been exponentially harder than uh, I mean I thought it was going to be. So thank you for being here with us, um, Nixie. Nixia always knows how to make me laugh. She says, I would be more concerned if you were perky today, Donna. That would give off serial killer vibes. You're good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Santa says, I want to try sculpting too. Joint class content. Yes. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Maybe uh, Mrs. Claus and I could join in too. I'm sure she would love that too. That would be fun. Um. Perhaps we could bake some cookies together afterwards, too. Oh, we could make little mugs and then bake cookies and have cocoa in our mugs that we made. That would be fun. I know. Dawn is going off on a tangent. It's fine. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here with us today. Thank you for um, all the love that you've shared. And um, we really appreciate you being so supportive of us through all of this. It... Um, it has been challenging, but um, you guys keep us going. And that's um, that's the great thing um, about having friends online or not. So um, we really appreciate you and we will let Scott noodle. I'm going to go upstairs and make another cup of tea since I've only had one today. And um, and we will uh, we will go from there. So thanks, everybody, for being here. We love you all so very much. Um, we will be here again Wednesday and, um, yeah, Bethany, you are correct. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9am central time. Please don't forget to go tomorrow morning. If you can 11am central time, 9am Pacific time. Um, oh no, Santa, are you going live tomorrow or not? You might not be going live tomorrow because you're super busy. Um, yeah, Santa, if you're here, let us know if you're going to go live tomorrow or not. I was trying to um, to do that. Oh, Santa says, have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with, I'll just say, Santa usually goes live on Tuesdays um, at 11 a.m. Central Time, so 11 a.m. our time. So, um, But I don't know if he's going to go live tomorrow because he's busy. So we'll see. Anyway, um, thank you for everything, guys. And um, yeah, no live tomorrow, says Santa. Thanks, Santa. Um, we appreciate all of you. Thanks to Blick and Santa for being here. Thanks to all of our wonderful mods for helping me out today or basically holding me up today. 
Um, appreciate you all. We will be back on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday. And, um, and thanks again, everybody. We love you guys all very, very much. And um, we will get that um, list of things to draw together at some point today. Um, and hopefully have it live and available on the um, good for you doing that, dear. community chat tomorrow. Huh? It's good for you for doing that. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everybody. Where are you going to find the time to put that list together? <laughs>